Let me run it for you here full speed and I'm going to show you what it should sound like once more and what it should not sound like. In fact, let's go with the should not first because I want you to understand that a briefing should be long enough to cover all important information but short enough to still keep it interesting and relevant. In other words, don't read the guy or the gal a bedtime story here with a briefing that takes forever because really as humans, we're basically going to stay engaged with you for maybe, oh, two minutes. And after that, I'm going to start thinking about uh, Valentine's Day gifts and Christmas and New Year's dinner. And I, I'm thinking about other stuff that I got going on potentially. So you, you, want, you want to, again, keep it long enough to cover what's relevant, but short enough, again, to not make it too boring and stay engaged with your other crew member. So here's what it should not, should not sound like. Hey, hello, and welcome aboard my aircraft. I'm Captain Joe, King Pilot, and I've got 20,000 hours, and I'm going to safely fly us from point A to point B today. And uh, Well, I've been flying my career for about at least, I would say, oh, 25 years, and I spent uh, maybe another uh, five years of the that. The airplane's in uh, good shape, and the weather... Uh, well, we're expecting the weather right now to be a little bit of snow. Gonna get some snow here. It's uh, nice and cold outside. Uh, not cold enough for the scarf, but you know, just enough snow that we're gonna need to get the ice and any ice. All right, I think you get the point, right? You don't want to bore your poor crew member with this briefing that goes on and on and on and on. And the other guy, you look over there, he's got his pillow out, he's sleeping, he's reading a book, or he's whatever he's or she's doing. We don't even know. Anyway, listen, your briefing's got to be like I said, right? Long enough to cover everything that is relevant, but short enough to keep it entertaining. So if you use that Paul Taz acronym, you can get a briefing done in less than two minutes. Let's see how this goes. Today, I'm gonna to be the pilot flying. My name is Joe Munoz. I'll fly from the left seat this morning. And the aircraft in good shape, okay? Don't have any open NEL, CDLs type items. Uh, the, the weather right now is showing clear. Skies, certainly good enough to get back in on an ILS if we need to. Predicted taxi route. Runway 31 left, we're gonna taxi out Kilo Delta with a left on Bravo, we'll go down to the end. Nice long runway, 14,000 feet, dry surface, so that's great for us on this takeoff. Any abnormals prior to V1, we're gonna reject for any engine failure, fire, a loss of control, aircraft unsafe to fly, V1 and above, we're committed to flight. I'll fly the aircraft, take it airborne, we'll treat it as an in-flight emergency. I'll handle, of course, the control of the airplane as well as ATC, you back me up on the checklist or ECAM action if appropriate. Now, of course, assuming everything is normal like we're hoping, we're going to go ahead with the SID. Okay, it's going to be the score three departure. Top altitude 5,000. It's a climbing left turn off 31 left. And again, top altitude 5,000. We're using that range of transition, and we're just going to do LNAV VNAV all the way up. Or we're going to manage NAV, right? For us Airbus guys out there as well and gals, we're going to manage NAV. So that's what it should sound like in a nutshell. Okay, again, not too long, not too short. Just cover the relevant details. Make sure you hit all the relevant points. And maybe a couple other things you're going to want to talk about is any notums that could potentially apply. And if you're in a terrain-sensitive area, you might want to mention the terrain. Okay, what's the high terrain? What's the minimum vector altitude? And especially the single engine out procedure. If you happen to be in an area that is very terrain-sensitive, so much so that it requires a single engine out procedure, certainly you're going to want to brief that as well. I hope you found this video to be helpful. As always, go back, replay, pause, and play again as many times as you deem appropriate to feel comfortable and confident that you can give an effective departure briefing to your crew member.